Hello, and welcome to the A3 portion of problem solving. So, as you'll notice, there's an A3 up on the screen here. Now, this should look familiar to you after using A3 as a planning document. This application is to use A3 as a storyboard for problem solving. You'll notice it follows a very similar format, though. On the left side, we clearly state what our problem is, and we have to be very succinct and very clear about that on the A3. And after we state the problem, um, once again on the left side, the current situation. In this case, the current situation is represented um, by root cause analysis using an Ishikawa diagram or a cause and effect diagram. So, left side, we state our problem. We do an analysis of the current state, and that should be a database analysis, and it all should be based on going to the Gemma and observing. We create a picture that tells us the possible root causes of the, of the problem. That's all the analysis of the current condition on the left side. Very similar to a planning document where we analyze the current condition to inform what our do, our go forward plan is. In this case, our, our in deep assessment and deep understanding of the current situation leads us to first identify an appropriate containment action. So we can contain the problem, stop the bleeding, triage, which does a very, very important thing. It then gives us the opportunity to spend the time needed to put permanent correction action in place, to identify what we're going to do to prevent this problem from ever occurring again. And of course, on the right side of the A3 is where we identify, in this case, our targets and our particular plan that we're going to do, starting with containment. And we're going to continue the PDCA cycle as we plan to check and adjust based on the actions that we take uh, that are articulated and described on the right side of the A3. So this is an example of using the A3 document, this very powerful document that we've been exposed to, specifically for problem solving. As you go through the on-site problem solving training and practice, you'll be using this document to record your observations of the current state, your analysis of the current state data, and your plan going forward to contain the problem and then eventually solve it at its root.